Hello viewers and welcome back to some more Pokemon X and Y ranked Wi-Fi battles. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it much to say. I'm just going to jump straight to the battle spot and we'll get on with a battle. Now, one thing to say guys, uh, you might actually be seeing every now and again in the future some Pokemon being used for several battles in a row, some maybe just a whole team coming back for an extra episode. Reason for that being, one, I might not want to change the team, I want to try it out a bit more. And two, you know, if I don't use a Pokemon at all, I don't want it to get switched out and never use it, sort of thing. So, you know, I might keep a Pokemon into that's used or whatever. So today I'm bringing Mega Ampharos, Greninja. Uh, we've also got Delphox and Chestnut, so bringing all three of the Kalos starter Pokemon here. We've got Galvantula and we also have the Blade. So hopefully um, the three Kalos starter Pokemon can actually do some work here. We know Greninja can, but, um, you know, Chestnut and Delphox are sort of in the middle, or Chestnut's in the middle, Delphox is kind of lower down as well. <laughs> uh, the Blade obviously being Eviolite, and then Galvantula isn't brilliant, but hopefully we can, you know, do some work with Galvantula there. Obviously we have two electric types here, so... They are carrying a Lucario, a Gliscor, a Gudra, a Scolopede, a Mawile, and a Burnett. A very, very basic team sort of thing. Like, you know, you see Lucario's often. Gliscor's, you know, every other battle pretty much. Uh, Gudra you see quite often too. Scolopede, obviously, is a speed boost Scolopede. And then we have Mawile, and then Burnett. Burnett I don't see too much. Uh, so, who do I want to take in? Who do I want to take in? Well, let's go through the Carol starts first. Chestnut's going to have something against um, our friend uh, Lucario. He's not going to have something against Gliscor because I don't think we are we are, are not carrying a grass type move on this. Grudra, meh. Scolopede, no. Um, Mawile, mm, eh. And then Burnett is Burnett, yeah, Burnett's a dark type, so Chestnut will have something there. Delphox is going to have something against Lucario, against, uh, I guess, yeah, against, against uh, Scolopede, against Mawile. So I guess Delphox might be good one to take in. It's Life Orb, so. I'm going to lead off with Delphox. It's a random choice, but I'm going to lead off with Delphox. Um, Galvantula's got Bug Buzz, uh, which will be good for, obviously, Burnett there. It's got Energy Ball, which could be decent on Gliscor. Uh, what else has it got? Not much else, to be honest. Ampharos I'll take in, because this gets Mega. And then um, Chestnut or Greninja. Chestnut or Greninja. Basically, Greninja. This is actually a physical Greninja, though, so it's not, you know, the special Greninja you see all the time. It's a physical one. Again, it's um, from... Kobana Mani 456, uh, he asked me to obviously make him shiny, and I, I took one for myself, hopefully he doesn't mind, so we have, his nickname is Shadow the Frog, but obviously, on Battle Spot, the nicknames aren't carried through, which kind of sucks, but what can you do? What can you do, guys? So I start off with Delphox here, which is obviously a weird choice, um, and they go out with the Mawile, which isn't too bad. I don't think, oh, what's Mawile going to have against us, though? I apologise, I was interrupted. Why do people think they can just walk into my room? Anyway, okay. So, I guess we'll just go straight for the Fire Blast on this thing, because that's that. They are switching out, as you might expect them to. Probably to, uh, yep, okay, Gudra's going to take a Fire Blast pretty damn well, since it resists and also is a special tank. So, the Fire Blast comes off, and I think, yeah, I'm holding Life Orb on this thing. It's got to be Life Orb, yeah, Life Orb. Okay, cool. Now, I'm not sure what Delphox Fox is going to have a... Uh, Gudra's going to have against us. I have Psyshock, Shadow Ball. We are a special attacker, so it's not even that good having us in here. So I guess I'm going to switch... Yeah, we'll switch to Greninja. Why not? I'm not even going to... You know, I'm not even going to analyse the risks here. I'm just going to switch out and that'll be it. Because, you know, we need a physical attacker out on the field. Greninja is a physical attacker. They are going to switch out again. Obviously, I switch to Gudra for taking the thing. The Wild versus Greninja, okay. So they were they were predicting the switch out there. Intimidate, which actually sucks for us since we're physical Greninja. God damn. Um and I guess we can go for the U-turn. I guess we can go for the U-turn since Greninja's not that helpful. Uh it's gonna mega my while. Okay, obviously we're faster, so that's a good thing there. What is it gonna have against us though? What's it gonna what would it use against the Greninja? Predicting possibly oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't even know what it would use. So I guess we're going to switch out to Ampharo, since that's, I think, the most bulky Pokemon, although... Yeah, yeah I, I know. I don't think Ampharos is a good choice here. I don't think Ampharos is a good choice here at all, going out to Delphox, because Ampharos, it could easily play rough. Oh, actually, well, Ampharos isn't Dragon Tag quite yet, but he could easily play rough and take it out. Subbing, it's going to sub. It's going to sub. Interesting. Okay, so obviously it's going to take, us, out, take us, us at least one turn to take the sub out, so that's just something we have to deal with. Hopefully we hit the Fire Blast, we do indeed. And then goes the substitute because that thing's not going to survive. <laughs> um, and then hopefully, I don't know, they're probably going to go for a crunch if they can. No, a sucker punch. No, they didn't go for the sucker punch though. So it's got to be something else. Sword stance. Okay. Sucker punch is coming next time though. I am pretty sure. I am pretty damn sure the sucker punch is coming. So I'm going to switch out actually. 
and go all quad ninjas got. It's not gonna have not gonna have actually anything against Mawile because they're all sort of you know do neutral damage. A power up punch, you know, obviously could. But Ampharos, however, does have the nothing. Okay, we'll go to Greninja, I think. It's gonna go for Sucker Punch, I think we can predict that, because that's what's gonna take Delphox out. So I'm not gonna be blindly stupid and go for another fire blast here. It could go for another sub, I guess, but what's the point in that? There's a sucker punch and it's failed. Unfortunately here, um, we have a Mawile that has two boosts in attack and Sucker Punch, so whatever we use here, we have to, uh, I guess, do some damage. So I guess we'll have to try and resist the Sucker Punch. We're going to resist it. I'm not resist it. You know, we take a Sucker Punch, I say. We're going to resist it because we were a Dark type, but now we're a Fighting type, so we're going to resist it anyway. Power Up Punch is going to help us out a bit. Play Rough. So it's, now gonna be, it's still going to be super effective against us, which is brilliant. <laughs> Should have predicted that, really. Should have predicted that. Oh, well. I was predicting the Sucker Punch. I forgot about the play rough. Um, I guess we get a Delphox then. I guess we get a Delphox. Um, we, see, all my moves are attacking. Okay, apart from Calm Mind, all my moves are attacking. And I know we can't take a Sucker Punch with Delphox, so I guess the best chance is to go to Ampharos and take an attack. We're not going to Mega Evolve because that would be blindly stupid. Well, I guess we will, because we're going to be faster than them, I'm pretty sure, if um, we Mega Evolve, or we will be faster than them anyway, to be honest. Uh, so they're not going to be able to hit us so play rough if we take them out. Um, and obviously Sucker Punch, I don't think we'll take Mega Ampharos out, but I'll have to see. So there's the Mega Ampharos, you know, L'Oreal, obviously. <laughs> um, let's see. Mold Breaker, meh. And there goes a Thunderbolt, hopefully it takes them out. It does indeed. Okay, so that, at least that's one gone. However, Gudra's out there still, and Gudra's actually uh, immune. Uh, what well, resists both are, but resists special moves, and both my remaining Pokémon are special attackers. Lucario's coming out next, though. Okay, interesting. I guess they're going for the extreme speed sort of thing. I have Focus Blast. So I'm gonna go for that because I don't want to, you know, risk a Thunderbolt not killing. I guess Shadow Ball, which is gonna do some damage, but not a whole lot to us. Um, you know, just doing some. It's gonna lower our special defense, though, which sucks. Since Amphros, uh, since Gudra is a special attacker, Focus Blast comes off, and is it going to take it out in one? My guess would be yes. Yep, that Lucario is gone. You're gone, Lucario. Goodbye, my friend. So we have Gudra left. So our best choice here is just go straight for the Dragon Pulse. We're going to be fast in it because, well, you know, we're fast. Um, <laughs> Gudra's pretty slow, so I guess we'll just go for the Dragon Pulse and see how much damage we can do. I don't think it's going to take him out, but you know, what else can we do, guys? What else can we do? It's faster than that. What is my life about? How is a Gudra faster than an Ampharos? And obviously with that special defense drop, there's no way of us surviving that. How is what, where, why, when, how? Look, it's huge. It's made of fucking goo. How does it move faster than a Mega Ampharos? Ah, well. Ah, well. So we're out. It's going to resist our uh, stab move, so I guess we have to go for a... Yes, a Psy Shock. Why did I not think of this earlier? It uses its defensive stat. Which is good because Gudra is not as defensive and specially defensive. And almost, almost, almost. But here comes the Dragon Pulse, which is probably going to take us out because Delphox is not that bulky at all. We'll see. Nope. Ah, oh, crit. A crit could have mattered. I don't know if the crit mattered or not. But, I mean, if the crit hadn't come off, we'd probably be left with red health points and killed ourselves with life or damage anyway. Ah, oh, oh well. That was a close battle, though. We, we almost got that. We almost got that, guys. You cannot deny that. We almost got that. Anyway. So, uh, we shall not save the video, we shall continue battling. Uh, yes, we shall continue battling now. Have one more battle this episode and see where that gets us. Battle box again, in my party is my, uh, <laughs> my lovely victory bell, my sweet center. For EV training, so I'm EV training like two more boxes of Pokemon, so hopefully, uh, hopefully, um, you know, get those up soon. So, we're on 8 and 19, which kind of sucks, but, you know, what can you do, guys? What can you do? Battle spot is really, so different. I'm not even using that strong Pokemon, I mean, I've got the blade. Uh, the blade... Delphox, you will you will never see them in um in OU six v six battles, so you know it's not like I'm making it easy on myself, is it? Okay, so they're bringing a Heracross, Mamoswine, Tyranosaur, Talonflame, Rotom Wash, and Aegislash. Again, a very very basic team. You see Rotom Wash almost all the time. Talonflame, well it's Talonflame. Uh, Aegislash, we know. Tyranosaur, we know, etc. Okay, so I need to take something for Talonflame, um, which I guess is going to be Ampharos. Because it's going to resist both its stab moves. Um, we could go for the Galvantula first off, because that would probably. It would, I don't know if it would die to it, but, or a Flare Blitz. Um, it's 
We've got the sticky web there, which could be helpful. I'm going to take Gavantra in first. Chestnut is going to actually have quite a few strengths here. Not a whole lot of strengths, actually, but hmm. Delphox has got meh. Chestnut will take in, and we'll take in Amphorus in the end. Okay, we'll just do this, guys. We'll just, well, we'll play out how it comes. We shall play it, play the cards as they play. No, play the, play the cards we're dealt. That's the one. We shall play the cards that we're dealt. See what they bring in, and then see if we can counter that. The Age Slash is going to be a problem if it comes in, because obviously Chestnut's got nothing against that at all, apart from trying to leech seed it. And in comes the Mammo Swine, which is going to hit us off with straight for an Ice Shard. Um, so it's not too bad the Garvantula's here, I guess. Because we could probably take an Ice Shard. We have Energy Ball, so I think we have the Energy Ball, because Sticky Web's not going to be as helpful. So the Energy Ball's going off. Ice Shard is probably going to come, unless it has, like, Earthquake. Uh, but I think Bug resists ground anyway, so... But, okay, we're faster, so it's going for the Earthquake most likely. Energy Ball is going to do a nice chunk of damage, actually. Earthquake, there it is. How much damage is it going to do? It might take us out, actually. Yep, it did. God damn. God damn, Galvantula is pretty weak. Pretty pretty weak, indeed. Um, what was my Galvantula? Was it Leftovers? I think it was Leftovers, wasn't it? Yeah, Leftovers. Maybe if I had a, a Life Orb on that, I might have taken it out, but who knows. Um, so we'll just check the summary quickly. Speed 176, 84, 86. So yeah, Gavanch is very fast actually, but Chestnut can probably take its attacks. Um, I might go for the Spiky Shield straight off just to resist the attack and see if they go for an Ice Shard and then hope it might take him out from there. I think my Chestnut's holding a Rocky Helmet too, so that's gonna be really good if I can get that off, but we'll have to see. Let's see what they're gonna do. I ho I'm hoping for the Ice Shard because they might think we're faster, but. I don't think we are. So I'm going for playing it safe, going for the spiky shield for the first turn, seeing if they're going to go for the ice shard. Because that is ice shard, contact move, uh, I don't know, a shard would, you know, it would Im implicate, or in, you know, you guys get what I mean. It would indicate that there's no contact made, because, okay, icicle spear, uh, yeah, no contact there, so it's not going to take any damage. No idea if we're actually faster or not, so I'll go for the hammer arm here. And uh, yeah, it's faster, so it's probably going to take us out with icicle spear. Uh, oh, maybe not actually, we're going to take this, we're going to take this like a boss. Only two hits as well, only two hits. And there comes the hammer arm, and that's going to finish off Mammoth Swine. It's going to reduce our speed, but who cares, because it was a crit as well. Going to reduce our speed, but Chestnut was really slow anyway, so, you know. I'm guessing a special attack is coming out next, because of the fact that we are mainly physically defensive. Um, plus, you know, spiky shield wouldn't be brilliant. Uh, what's coming out? Ah, ugh. Okay, I don't actually have Leech Seed. So I can't do anything here, but I don't think this thing can do anything to me either. So, hmm, I'm going to have the Synthesis just to get full health points. See what they're going to do. They're going to straight for the Shadow Sneak, which is interesting. Um, are they? Oh no, Shadow Ball, rather. Bulletproof! Oh yeah! Bulletproof pulling through! Bulletproof pulling through. Okay, so there's the Synthesis. We're back up to full health now. I just did that because I wanted to scout what they were doing. We can't do anything here because Hammer Arm doesn't affect it just Slash. Told you we are going to have a problem if that thing came in. Uh, Shadow Ball... <sighs> they can't go for the Shadow Ball this turn, so they have to go for something else. So I guess we're safe switching for Ampharos, because they're not going to get the huge stab off. Um, and we'll get a Evolution, and then probably a Thunderbolt going off there. I'm not sure. Boom, boom, boom. Ampharos comes out, and there's a stance change going for the King Shield, actually, rather than anything else. So I guess that's a good thing, you know. Nothing happened when we switched out, which is all good. Let's go for the fight. I guess we go for the Mega Evolution. Uh, oh, I just want to check what's Thunderbolt and Dragon Pulse looking like in terms of damage, base power. 90, 85. So yeah, definitely the Thunderbolt still. Um, even though we have the, the Dragon Stab, definitely the Thunderbolt still. See how much damage we can do, especially if they go for a Shadow Ball. Because, um, well, actually, no, they might still be in defense mode because we might be faster than them. Well, we, are, we will be faster than them, but I guess they go for the Shadow Ball, which will um, be good. Mold Breaker. Mm, we could have gone for the Focus Blast act. No, wait, we couldn't have. We couldn't have because it's an ability. I always get confused with Mold Breaker. I always like sort of think, oh, it must be you know, it allows all moves to hit. That's what I used to think at least. But I know now Mold Breaker is just it negates abilities, so it doesn't actually help us out against uh, the Age Slash. I thought, think it might if it negated its stance change, but we're going to be faster and we're going to get the attack off, which means uh, Age Slash is going for the King Shield. God damn it! Age Slash is so overpowered. So overpowered. Ugh. God damn. God damn. Ah. God damn. Ah. 
So at least we actually took the Shadow Ball though, which means we can actually take another one. Which means I'll be right going for a Thunderbolt here. Um, unfortunately though, we're doing less damage, or we're doing about the same damage to be honest to this thing in um, shield mode as it's, it's doing to us. Um, so it means we can actually attack first though. Assuming they didn't take us out with the Shadow Ball here. Which they are not going to. They could probably have the Shadow Sneak now if they're carrying it, which really sucks. Um, but I'm ugh, I'm hoping they get to have the Shadow Sneak because of the fact that... Well, think about it. I'll win otherwise. <laughs> or they go for the, they'll go for the King Shield possibly this turn and then go for the Shadow Sneak, but he knows what they'll do. Uh, yep, there's the Shadow Sneak. You know, I couldn't really do anything because what was the point of having Ampharos in here anyway? It's only six health points. Uh, which means they've won because Chestnut can't do anything to this thing. They have Leech Seed on it. I should have put Leech Seed on it rather than Synthesis or Spikes. Um, unless I want to, you know, <laughs> just go for the Spikes and get them to switch back in, I guess. Or try and get them to switch in. Go for the Spikes. They can't really use Shadow Sneak on us, which... Oh, fuck's sake. I should have gone for the King Shield. Oh, not the King Shield, the Spiky Shield. Ugh. Oh, my lord. Oh, they hurt. Yes, Rocky Helmet. Yes, back in the game, guys. Back in the game. Unfortunately, though, Spikes is not going to do anything. Actually, it will do, because, yeah, Spikes is going to do something, because the Pokemon that's going to come in is going to take some damage from Spikes, hopefully, depending on what it is, obviously. <laughs> so, good. Ooh, that was close as well. Uh, thank you, Rocky Helmet. So, yeah, Talon Flame's not going to have to do it, have anything done to it from Spikes. Spiky Shield time, though. If they don't remember it, they might go for um, a Brave Bird or a Bra Flare Blitz. Take damage from Spiky Shield and Rocky Helmet. So they're going for the Brave Bird. Yep. There's the Spiky Shield. And there's the Rocky Helmet. Oh, what? Say what now? So, Rock I'll kill Rocky Helmet doesn't stack with Spiky Shield, does it? Fuck my life! Fuck my life, guys! Okay. Can't go for another Spiky Shield, so Hammer Arm it is. Uh, it's probably just, yeah, there's no chance of us surviving this Brave Bird, even with our high defense, because it's just going to four times effective sweep us, because it's a Talon Flame! Indeed, and yeah, I mean, if we'd got a hammer arm off, maybe, because, you know, that's how much damage recoil did. If we'd survived for a bit, got a hammer arm off, and then got for the spiky shield, we could have survived it, but or at least gone for the draw, but nope. Two very close matches. If it hadn't been Talon Flame, might have been with a chance, but that priority Brave Bird is going to fuck me over. So, that's really it for this episode of or this installment of my Pokemon X and Y ranked Wi-Fi battles. We haven't won any battles <laughs> again, but that's the way it rolls with Battle Spot. You, you can't really half the time you can't actually uh decide, you can't actually help it really. So guys, thanks for watching this episode of my Pokemon X and Y ranked Wi-Fi battles. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you didn't, I guess hit the dislike button. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye, my friends.